Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really educational name. At least I think it's pretty educational. Yeah. All right, the book for the night might be a little educational. The name, not so much. But you know me, I like to throw out the random adjectives to get us going. And you know, off of that, I say, let me get my instrument ready. I got a drum pad. Ooh, hold on, I got to get right for this. Oh, Wolverine, you got to move out of the way. Oh, Wolverine is giving me kisses. Okay, hold on, Wolverine, hold on. Sit right there, just, just pile up. I got to have my lamp for the drum pad. All right, wait, here we go. instruments and I can't they work nothing but you guys are inspiring me to get my act together all right come on cuddle buddies come on back come back come back come back come back to where you were well let's do our checklist let's see did you have a great dinner I did I ate salad and it gave me another bowel movement which is a thumbs up so that's two in one day I'm so awesome check so if dinner's all done did you clean your room don't go to bed with a messy room. Y'all know I say that every time. Because I don't want you tripping and falling over nothing in the middle of the night if you have to go to the bathroom. So clean up your room. Check. You got a night light. Since we're talking about moving around at night, in the middle of the night, make sure you have a night light. Check. Did you do your homework? Oh, yes. I know. It's Sunday. It don't matter. Do your homework anyway. Homework. Homework. Check. Did you comb your hair, brush your hair, tie up your hair, wrap your hair, grease your hair, massage your scalp, whatever you needed to do. You know, get that together now. That's that's basic self-care. Check. Did you pick out your clothes that you're going to be wearing for tomorrow? Because tomorrow's the top of the new week, so you want to get, you going to be ready when you get up in the morning. You don't want to have to be looking, trying to figure out what you need to wear. Do that before you go to bed. Check. Hmm, in your PJs, you got your favorite PJs on deck. Because if you got your favorite PJs now, I gotta ask you, did you take your bath or your shower? Are you fresh and clean and all, all just refreshed from being in the shower or the bath? Check. Then you put those awesome PJs on, your favorites, perhaps. Check. Then did you brush your teeth? You know you gotta brush your teeth. Your breath. Brush your teeth so they're shiny and gleamy and glistening and pearly white and your breath is all fresh. Check. Hmm. Boy, that was a lot. I think we covered almost everything. Hmm. I'm really thinking. I just want, did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members and friends that are in your household with you? Check. And of course, the big one, the biggest of them all. And I'm still brainstorming. I just got to really physically write out the list to make sure I don't miss anything. I haven't done it yet, so I've been going off the cuff. But, eh, did you say your prayers? If you did not say your prayers, make sure you say your prayers before you drift off into dreamland. Very important. Say your prayers. Thank the Creator for all that you have and all that you need. And just for a wonderful life. Make sure you thank the Creator. Say your prayers. Check. All right, boys and girls, let's get down to the story now. I said educational, right? It's another Dr. Seuss book, and we're 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 doubling down for the next month because it's Black History Month starting tomorrow. Today is the final day of January, and this Dr. Seuss book, um, it's a, I can learn, I can read. I can read it all by myself book. It's ABCs. Okay. Now you'll have to deal with that just for the show of the cover. Now I'm trying to clear the glare, but you can see it, so we're good. I love all these alphabets. 
and they're all colorful. Yes, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, I, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right. And Dr. Seuss, A, B, C. It's a beginner book. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Big A, little A, what begins with A? Big A, little A, what begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator, A, 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 alligator. Big B, little B, what begins with B? Perfect book if you're learning your alphabets. If you already know them, you're awesome. Keep it up. Barber baby bubbles and a bumblebee. Barber baby bumble bubbles and a bumblebee. I'll show you the words too because it's not two words. Big C, little C, what begins with C? Camel on the ceiling, C, 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 K, 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 or S, 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 because that C be trying to pretend to be an S sometimes. If it sits next to an I or an E, it's not going to say K, it's going to say S, like in ceiling, so they put that out there. Big D, little D, David, Donald, do, dreamed a dozen donuts, and they duck dog too. What? D, 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 Big D, little D, Big D, little D. B, A, B, C, D, E, 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 Ear, Egg, Elephant, E, 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 E says its name, and it also says E, 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 like elephant, elephant. Big F, little F, 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 Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. Well, this is a fiffer, feffer, feff. Before you go, what is that? There it is right there. Yes, in all its glory. A fiffer, feffer, feff. I told you this was going to be educational. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, goat, girl, goo, goo, goggles, G, 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 or J, 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 like a J. Same thing with those I's and E's. Sitting next to I's and E's, those G's will sound like J's. Just giving you a heads up if you're learning how to read. Big H, little H, hungry horse, hay, hen in a hat, Hooray, hooray, <sighs> hooray, hooray, or FYI, sometimes H is just silent and says nothing. And we're like, why are you in the word then? What? You, you, you could just, you, if you're not going to say nothing, don't be in the word, but that's how our language works. Big I, little I, 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 Ichabod is itchy, so am I. I, 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 or eh, 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 for Ichabod, itchy, I, 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 yes, some vowels be saying their names, Big J, Little J, what begins with J, Jerry Jordan's jelly jar and jam begin that way, J, 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 J. In Spanish, J's are silent too, I believe. Big K, little K, kitten, kangaroo, kick a kettle, kite, and a king's kerchief. Kerchief. All right. K, 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 sidebar. If it sits next to an N, it's silent. K has the tendency to be silent, too. Like in the knight in shining armor, it's silent. But the N says it's silent. But the K just sits there. So you got to know that when we're talking about a knight in shining armor, 
The K is silent, but it's still there for spelling purposes. Make sure you know that. Big L, little L, little Lola Lop, left leg, lazy lion, licks a lollipop. L, 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 or ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't say the ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like the L sound better. Sidebar, L say L, L. L, mostly at the beginning of the word, and ooh, ooh, ooh. I cannot do that sound, but it's mostly at the end of the word. I'm just saying, middle is, is uh, up in the air depending on the word. Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight mighty nice. M, 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 or M, M, M. Okay, again, sidebar. M's tend to go m, m, m at the beginning of the word, like many, mighty, mumbling mice making midnight music. But at the end, it's more like a mm, and I'm holding it on purpose. It really muzz at the beginning. It's a little short in the sound at the beginning, a little more long with it at the end. Big N, little N. What begins with those nine new neckties and a night shirt and a nose? In, 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 n, 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 or n, n, n. The same sidebar. At the beginning of the word, they make their short n straight to the point sound, right? But at the end of the word, they kind of n it. They kind of get all up into it. N, okay. So you'll notice the difference when you're reading. Both sounds are correct. It's just sound variations for that particular letter. Here's one. O oh, is very useful. You use it when you say, Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. The orange owl, owl apparently needed some oil. O, O, O. Ah, ah, ah. O, O, O. Remember, vowels be saying their names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Now, that's right. Here we go. Painting pink pajamas, policeman in a pail, Peter Pepper's puppy, and now Papa's in the pail. P, 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 P. And if you got to do the PPP, please go to the bathroom. <laughs> Joke of the night. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy and her quacking Quakeroo. She got a Quakeroo, not a kangaroo, y'all, but a Quakeroo. Q, 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 qua, qua, qua. Q, 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 qua, qua, qua. Big R, little R, Rosie Robin Ross. Rosie's going riding on her red rhinoceros. R, 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 or R, 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 or R, R, R. Same sidebar, guys. The beginning of the word, it tends to go R real quick, right? Like red rhinoceros. It gets it out the way. In the middle, in the end of the word, it tends to R a little bit. And R's, when they sit next to vowels, Drowned out the sound of the vowel. Okay? Wasn't told this by my English teachers back in the day. Discovered this recently and made absolute sense. And it absolute is what it is. Anytime you put an R next to a vowel, you really can't hear the vowel when you say the word. You hear R. Just throwing that out there. Big S. Little S. Silly Sammy Slick. Sipped six sodas and got sick, sick, sick. S S S S S S Sounded like some snakes or some air being let out of a balloon. T T what begins with T T T T what begins with T Ten tired turtles on a tuttle tuttle tree. So that's a tuttle tuttle tree. Tuttle, tuttle, a tuttle, tuttle tree. I've never seen one of those before, but there it is. 
T, 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 say it with me. T, T, T. Oh, yeah. Big U, little U, what begins with U? Uncle Ubes or Oops, umbrella and his underwear too. You, 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 uh, uh, uh. You, 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 uh, uh, uh. Again, a vowel. They say their names, especially with the silent E's at the end of the words, and especially if they sit next to another vowel, but they come first in the word. Two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking. Big V, little V, Vera Violet Vin is very, very, very awful on her violin. That's all right. That is all right, Vera. That's okay because I'm awful on a lot of these instruments that I'm playing in my um, checklist segment. But we're going to keep practicing <laughs> W-W-W, Willie Waterloo, washes Warren Wiggins, who is washing Waldo Woo. W-W-W, wah, wah, wah. W-W-W, wah, wah, wah. Sweet. We're all about there, boys and girls. X is very useful if your name is Nixie Knox. It also comes in handy spelling X and extra fox. X, 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 X. Low key, X kind of sort of every once in a while be trying to sound like the letter Z. And this is how you do a Z in sign language. You draw it in the air. So sometimes X is me saying Z like xylophone. Notice they didn't use the word xylophone. Shh, don't tell nobody. Anyway, <clears throat> big Y, little Y, a yawning yellow yak. Young Yolanda Jorgensen is yelling on his back. Why, why, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or E or I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or E or I. A E I O U. And sometimes Y, because Y will pretend to be an E or an I. Yeah, it's a consonant perpetrating as a vowel. So watch out, boys and girls. Oh boy, A B C D E F G H I J K L M. N O P Q R S T U V W X Y A and drop the book again. Who no and what and what y'all? Z Big Z Little Z What begins with Z? Big Z, little Z, what begins with Z? One more time. Big Z, little Z, what begins with Z? Let's see. Y'all ready? I do. I am a zizzer, zazzer, zoo, as you can plainly see. Hey, look, y'all. Dr. Seuss be introducing us to the most weirdest, but most funnest, most awesome, most creative, most imaginative items and animals and things. This is a zizzer zazzer zoo. Z, 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 say it with me. Z, 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 what? Z, 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 oh yeah. Z, 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 the end. Oh, that was fun. And it was educational. Hey, don't get frustrated by this language, this English language that is, or any language that you might be practicing. Just get familiar with it, make friends with it, embrace it, absorb it. Be smart with it. Own it. Make it your own. But be good readers. Be super readers to the rescue. I need y'all to read. Take a look. It's in the book. The Reading Rainbow. So I love Dr. Seuss for this one right here. This is one of my favorites. Out of all of them. Every one of them is a favorite. So boys and girls, it's time to dream. Yes. My favorite part, I can't wait to get this story done so I can get in my bed and get comfy, cozy, and snug as a bug in a rug under my blankets and my pillows and stuff so I can dream my special dream. What? How we do it, you ask? All you got to do is simply close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about, 
anything. It's all up to you. When you say those prayers, remember that the creator, God, gave us the ability to manifest our dreams. So all you have to do is just whisper, talk it out to yourself. Map it out. Tell yourself what you want to dream about. Relax your body. Be still. Be calm. Be content. Be comfy. Be relaxed. Be quiet. Be safe. And just let your body drift off to dreamland so you can dream your special dream. Now, finally, let me get off this camera so you guys can do that. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.